All right, so two in like 20 minutes. This is going to be crazy. I'm going for a new record. Uh, first off, I've got to tell you about a man that was killed in an argument during a Scrabble game. Um, it led to the man being bashed 40 times with a baseball bat and stabbed five times in the back. As though being beat down with a baseball bat was not bad enough, he had to be stabbed in the back. Can you really not, like, stab the guy in the front at that point? I mean, seriously. Uh, but anyway, all this erupted in uh, New Zealand during a Scrabble game. Remind me uh, not to try and make up a word if I go to New Zealand. I know this is kind of an old story. It's from July 14th. But uh, it's about that rocket from Hezbollah that hit the Israeli or hit the civilian ship. Earth to Hezbollah. If you start firing rockets at non-Israelis, we're all going to collectively come and kick your butt. Seriously. And you're making the freaking stock market go down. Gosh. Uh, I've got two words. Ford sucks. Uh, Moody apparently lowered Ford's credit rating yet again. So, for those of you finance majors out there, it uh, got lowered from B2 to BA3. And uh, same thing for the uh, company's finance arm. Expectations are that high fuel prices will result in a shift away from highly profitable sport utility vehicles and that will further damage the company's profits. Found on roadside dead. That pretty much sums up the entire company right now. Germany sucks. At least if you want to get your mail delivered. Um, basically, a Berlin postal worker was caught with several thousand undelivered letters in his basement. He was uh, supposedly overwhelmed by the job, and they found 90 boxes of undelivered mail. He was apparently going to get around to delivering it in the next couple of days. Um, these cops were uh, chasing a guy through a mall, and apparently he got busted because he got distracted looking at a, uh, a teenage beauty pageant. Uh, turns out that even if you're in the midst of a robbery, boys will be boys. Uh, let's see. Mechanic loses job, smashes up cars. What was this one about? Oh, okay. His supervisors, this is at the uh, Los Angeles Metropolitan Transit Authority. He, uh, was being, he was being suspended. Okay, that happens. Um, after he got the news, he hopped in a 40-foot bus, backed it up into another bus, and then drove forward into yet another bus. Apparently he got sandwiched. After that, he boarded a second bus and drove to an employee parking lot, where he smashed into cars before sandwiching the bus he was driving between a parked car and yet another parked bus. Overall, um, I would say that it's better to be suspended than it would be to be fired and in jail. But again, I don't live in Los Angeles, so hey, who knows? Uh, let's see. Two suspects suspected in break-in. Uh, they stole the final exam. Physics 2101. Now, granted, I could not pass a Physics 2101 final exam, but um, if convicted of unauthorized entry of a place of business, each could be imprisoned for up to six years. Flunk my final, imprisoned for six years. Uh, I'm going to have to go with flunk my final. Boy, 14, accidentally stabs self in anger at mom. <laughs> he accidentally plunged a steak knife five inches into his leg Wednesday after becoming angry with his mother when she asked him to put away clean dishes. Now, if my mother has to be watching this, keep in mind that, yes, I did not like doing my chores. Mostly it was doing the dishes that I didn't like. But uh, I never got so mad that I threatened to stab anything with a knife. And uh, certainly never did anything quite as hilarious, though, as stabbing myself in the leg with a knife. Oh. Okay. Osceola County. For some reason, it reminds me too much of uh, Ocala for me to not point out the similarity. 
but a 14-year-old boy was critically injured when he was sucked down to the bottom of a resort hot tub. He was visiting from New Jersey, but, uh, you know, I don't know too many things about hot tubs. You know, I've been in lots of hot tubs, and uh, I was 14 once. You would have to be the weakest, scrawniest little kid ever to be able to be sucked down to the bottom of the hot tub and not be able to get up. Come on, dude. The suction was so strong that they could not get him out. He stayed under there until the paramedics and fire department came and they were trying to get him out. Um, they're blaming it on a malfunction. I blame it on the fact that the kid was from New Jersey and he was really tiny. It's a lot funnier that way. And then I've got this really amazing Etch-A-Sketch drawing. I've got a picture of it. Let me see if I can post this up. Now that is some sweet Etch-A-Sketch right there. Um, somebody has way, way too much free time on their hands. Uh, yeah. Alright, so I will uh, leave you on that crazy Etch-A-Sketch note, and uh, probably not going to go three in a row tonight. I'll probably uh, save some, some fake news for later.